Today we're going to be learning about Romero Brito. He's a Brazilian artist that has moved to the United States, to, to Miami, and he paints very bold pictures. And it's often called like pop art, where they use this kind of artwork in advertising and things like that. But I really like his paintings because they're so bright and cheerful. Here's one of a teddy bear. Notice all the patterns and the black lines. Same thing, here's a heart with wings. Here's a cute dog. Notice all the different patterns around. There's a lot of hearts and shapes. Here's a couple of fish. Here's a little girl and boy holding the earth with lots of patterns around them. Here's a sailboat in the ocean. Here's a picture of Brito, and he's right by his apple that he's painted. Here's one of his paintings right here that's inspired the project that we're going to work on today. We're going to make an apple similar to this one. Okay, let's get started. You need a white piece of paper, and if you'd like to draw your apple first with pencil, that would be great. I'm going to go ahead and use a black marker so that you can see it on the video. So let's start up here in the center of your paper toward the top, and I'm just going to draw kind of a heart shape. So I'm going to draw a round part on that side and a round curve on that side. And then we're going to bring it down toward the bottom and just kind of make a little wave there and go back and connect it. So here's our apple. And then I'm going to draw the stem at the top. That's a little bit of a rectangle shape. I've got one leaf over here and another leaf on this side. Notice how those leaves are pointed. And I'm gonna draw a line there. And maybe one there. Remember how his pictures have black lines and the background is divided into sections. So I'm gonna take a ruler. You don't have to use a ruler if you don't have one. But I'm just gonna go down the edge of the ruler and use it as a straight edge to make some lines to divide up my background and parts of the apple. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a line on this side and one going vertical from the bottom into the apple. And another horizontal one just on the background and then one more angle one right here to break up that space. Okay, now we're going to start coloring. I'm going to try to use some bright colors like Brito would have used. So I'm gonna start right up here. I might use this bright dark pink right here on this leaf. Notice how I'm coloring in all the white, filling up the space. I could pick another color. Let me take some orange and I'll combine that with the pink on this leaf. And I'm filling it all in. I'm applying quite a bit of pressure. You could add several layers um, right here on the stem. I could divide this into a pattern of stripes and use a light color on every other one of these, kind of making a pattern. And then I could use a dark purple to accent that in between the lavender. Make sure you apply enough pressure to cover your white. Um, down in this section of the apple, I think I'll draw some circles. If you have a, a bottle or something small that you want to draw around, like a glue stick or a bottle, you could. Or you can just draw the circles. On this side, I'm going to take my ruler and just draw some more stripes. So I'm just drawing some diagonal lines down. So I'm making a pattern on my apple. This section right here, I could just draw some straight lines and move them around kind of like uh, sprinkles would be in different directions, vertical, horizontal, diagonal. And then I could put some dots in there too. So I could take my dark color Oh, let's, let's try some blue. I'm going to take a dark blue and draw my lines. Go over them a couple of times. 
And then I might take a different shade of blue and draw the dots just to make it a little more interesting. And then I could take like a light blue and just color lightly so that I can still see my other shades of blue and make sure I fill it all of my space. I'm going to go ahead and connect this so that my section will be complete. And you're just going to continue coloring. So here's what the end project would look like. I used some green and pink here, some contrasting colors. Here's uh, purple and kind of a, a, I mean a blue and a kind of a hot pink purple. And my different shades of blue. Here's my different shades of la uh, lavender and purple. Dark and light green and red and orange and yellow. On the background, I'm just going to leave it white. If you have time, you could always add some patterns and color to your background. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy making your bright, colorful, joyful apple like Brito.